G'day Libra, welcome back to TJ Terrid and Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as that now, let's go. Give me three cards to start with for who's thinking about loving Libra like right now. So this is a general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or you can check out my playlist. And see if something resonates for you there. Uh-oh. Yeah, we all saw what that was, didn't we? Mm. Clarify card one, please. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So please do keep that in mind. As you may not be the only one thinking about Libra right now. Clarify card two, please. All the decks are pre-shuffled and I'll list them below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you're interested in what these decks are. And yes, these are some new decks that I got and they're finally coming. I oh, got them a few weeks ago, but clarify card three, please. And yeah, they've been interesting. <laughs> I think they're we're excited to be on screen. Because, yeah, they've been very, very talkative. Extremely talkative. So, yes. And so is the other deck. So, yes. <laughs> All right, three more for the love energy coming towards the Libra, please. I don't read reversals, and I do like to get all the cards out first, so just be patient, my dears. Won't be long. There we go. See, got three out already. One, two, and three. Now just the clarifiers. Clarify card one in row two, please. So I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, having a good day, a good week, a good weekend, wherever you are and whenever you are watching this. Clarify card two in row two, please. And don't forget to spoil yourself with something nice. Whether it's just a nice bath or a chucky bicky or something, or it could be something extravagant like a holiday. Go for it, mate. <laughs> Clarify card three and my two, please. You deserve it, Libra. So, good on you. You do what you got to do. All right. Whew, okay, let's begin. Oh, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Another sign got this. I can't remember who it was. Oh, okay. Maybe Aries? I can't remember. Oh, Ace of Wands. <laughs> and the Knight of Wands. Okay, yeah. They're not looking for love. They don't want nothing but a good time. Good old poison. Nothing but a good time. Yeah, wand action and a night of passionate action. Yeah, this is, yeah. This is horny all over. No love, just passion. Okay, Libra. Somebody wants to <coughs> do you good. <laughs> just say it like that. Uh, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So they're uh, um, possibly selfish. I'm getting in love with themselves and think that they're very romantically attractive. Like a bit up yourself. Mm, okay. Oh, yes. The Hierophant. I think they know everything. Two of Pentacles. Juggling people. Oh, the King of Pentacles. Oh. And Judgment. Oh, okay. So, mm, this can be commitment here, but they're juggling someone that they're committed to here. Looking to have a second chance. 
making that judgment call to put themselves first here when they're committed to someone, they're married. They're married. They're juggling you and this person they're committed to. King of Pentacles is married. Hierophant is marriage, commitment. Yeah, they're juggling. <coughs> but still looking for a second chance with you? What? Mm. It could be they're trying to get a second chance with someone. Could be a second marriage. Oh, yeah. Now they got commitment all all over the place. Could be married to someone and is juggling them with someone who's committed to somebody else while still trying to get a second chance with you. Or or somebody else again. So they're married. They've got somebody who's committed to them as well on the side and they're trying to get back with somebody else. But they're just coming in for a bit of fun with you. What? Mate. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. This is an ex of yours? I don't even know that. Three of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot, the Queen of Wands. <laughs> yeah, keep going, okay. The Four of Pentacles, yeah, see, yeah, the Two of Swords, and, uh, ooh, the Queen of Cups. Your ex. So, yeah, trying to work on something with an ex, whether you're the ex or whether, I don't know. Coming in like they're working on something, but as soon as the, whoa. See, you're, yeah, I think you are, because as soon as it's time to work on things, the wheel turns here and they take off fast in their chariot here, because they were just in it for a good time. Queen of Wands ain't committed to anyone, neither is the king. They're um, passionately actioned people. Or energies, I should say. Yeah, they were just in it for, you know, so they're going to hold back from even looking at any sort of decision here about love with you. Yeah. Happy to hold on to your beautiful love here, but they're not even looking. It's not even a choice here about whether they're going to show love or not. It's not even part of their thing. Eh? They're, they're just in it for the party. In it for the love of the passion. Yeah, once they get what they want and you want to start working on things, they're gone. And I think you've known that about them in the past, whether they were your ex or whether you've seen them do that. You know that. Yeah. Wow. All right. Three of Wands, take the lead. Oh, that's interesting. Take the lead. All right, okay. Yeah, the World Card and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah. So they decide when things close out and and when you'll still be juggled. Yeah. So, yeah, they'll take the lead here on when, when they're going to close things out with whoever they're juggling. They feel that they're in control. They decide who stays, who goes. Oh, that wind is terrible out there. It's shaking the crap out of our gates. Oh, my gate and the neighbour's gate, that's for sure. There's a little wind tunnel going up that. 
Anyway. Nine, seek, which this is hermit energy in Major Arcana. Seek. See, seeking to be single. Yeah, oh, the Nine of Swords. Yeah, okay. And the Three of Wands. Oh. See, even though they act single, they're always on the lookout. They're always seeking the next person because what a nightmare it would be for them to have to wait for someone to come in. So they're always on the lookout. Yeah, that, it's a nightmare for them to have to wait. They like people just there when, as soon as they're ready. As soon as they want something. Yeah, they're always on the lookout. Yeah, and that's why I think they're coming in to see if you're interested in a good time because, um, yeah, I think they're running out of people. When the one they're married to and the one they're committed to and the one that they want the second chance with, which was this ex, that they, yeah, you know, they end up releasing here. It's like, oh, well, I've got to have another one. And so, yeah, that's coming in for the good time with you. But they'll end it as soon as they want to. Once they finish playing, once they finish juggling, they'll um, end it. God. And trust with the full card. Mm, interesting. Another major arcana in from this deck. It's an interesting deck. It's not quite a normal anyway. Yep, four of pentacles again. Holding back. I'm sure that was up here somewhere. Yeah, I think it was here somewhere. Yeah, holding back, not making a decision. Yeah, so four of pentacles, six of pentacles, three of swords. And the judgment card again. <sighs> See, yeah, they're trying to trust here that, you know... They can hold back from balancing out any connections here because whenever there's heartbreak, that well, they can just go back and reconcile with someone else, with with whoever's committed to them. They think they'll always get a second chance. Yeah. They're holding on to it, the fact that, you know, people want these balanced connections with them because, well, want to balance things with them because they're heartbroken here. So they'll always give them a second chance is what they think. Yeah, they just think, yeah, I can just go back to this ex and they'll just take me back. Or my partner, um, the one who's committed to me, well, I can always go back to them because I know they're committed to me. And, yeah, and I, then I've still got the person I'm married to, so, you know, worse comes to worse. But, yeah, they're looking at you like, hmm, you'd be all right, Libra. I mind having a bit of a fling with you. But, yeah, nah, just in the long list here. And we've got to can't do this anymore. Hmm. Which I think is more that they just um, can't have um, love or commitment. They can't take on any more of those. It, that's why they're only coming in for lust here. Because that's all that they can do now. They can't handle... They just need something that's not... Yeah, seeking commitment or stability or love from from them as they're giving it to them. They just, yeah, they cut, they need they need a break. They need just a a good time to um, with no strings attached. Why don't you just hire someone then? It's people who do that for a job, mate. All right, what does this energy like to say to Libra? I still got that song in my head by Poison. Don't need nothing but a good time. Yeah. I want you next to me, see? Yeah, want. Want. They've got people that need them, people that are committed to them, people that want love from them. They just, yeah. 
They just want lust. They just want you next to them for the night. <sighs> wow. Yeah. So, yeah. I think they're going to be upfront about it. Not about all the other people, of course. But upfront about the fact that they're just looking for a night of passionate action. Um, it's up to you what you want to do. But, yeah, just know it ain't going anywhere. And depends on your morals. Because, <clears throat> yeah, they're... It looks like they've got a couple, quite a few, yeah, at least three on the go here. Maybe releasing one, coming in to look at you before the, while they're biding their time and waiting before they can go back to this one again. I'm sure the wheel was there, wasn't it? Yeah, the wheel of fortune, yeah, biding their time till they can return. Yeah. Mm, it's too rubble, mate. Too rubble. Yeah. So, yes. Interesting, Libra. Very interesting. Alright, well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment below. That would be awesome. I know it's not the greatest energy, but guess what? We all know these people. They're out there. We've dealt with them. You know, they're a dime a dozen that's why they come up in the readings often because they're everywhere uh, unfortunately uh, you know it's wish it was the other way around really don't we all so yeah so it's just a heads up so you know that you know if someone's just very hot and heavy with you yeah they're, um, you know, not interested. It's a test, I suppose. Are you going to give in to passionate energies or, you know, are you going to wait for something better? But again, it's up to you what you do. All right. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. All right. All the best, take care, good luck, and I'll catch you later.